Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Pock Devour Cycling Sunglasses. While most oversized sunglasses are inspired by goggles, the Devour one of the first cycling sunglasses designed to replace goggles. The Devour combine Pock's distinctive Swedish design language with one of the largest sunglasses we've seen on the market to date. What we have here today are the Pock Devours, as well as a spare clarity lens. Now, packaging is really simple and pretty unique to Pock. You have a white cardboard box, black lettering on top, and very minimal branding. This also serves as your traveling case, so it's a nice hardboard, uh, hard cardboard construction that travels really well. And then the spare lens and a simple uh, cardboard box with a window. Go ahead and take us out of the box and we'll go over the specs. Retail price on the Devour is $250. They have the Clarity Lens technology and they're available both in the road as well as the trail variation to match all the riding conditions you might experience. They include an extra clear lens, which is really nice, especially at this price point. So you don't have to purchase that separately, but they do have an interchangeable lens design so you can swap these in and out uh, to match the conditions of your ride. They have adjustable temples and that means they're both flexible as well as adjustable in length by simply sliding them in and out. So nice feature to have. They have an adjustable nose piece with this uh, flexible rubber to really dial in the fit. And then the anti-scratch as well as a rye peel coating on the lens which is resists both water and oil. So very robust design. And as you can see these are huge. So really big lens with a lot of protection. In terms of what comes in the box you get the sunglasses, basic packaging material to keep it safe during transport. You get that clear lens I mentioned, which is really nice. So same frame design with the vents. And it's great that you don't have to pay extra for this. And although you don't get a hard case, you can use the box as a hard case as it has a little cutout for your spare lens, as well as a little fabric bag, which is quite large to match the large size of the sunglasses. You get a little pamphlet here with little information on how to change the lenses, as well as the filtering for the lens itself. In terms of spare lenses, we have a separate clarity lens here. It's about $100, so definitely a little bit pricey, but great to have if you plan to use these longer term. This is the road variation that we have here. So it's a road clarity, and you can see it has a violet base tint. Now let's take a look at the weight of the Devour sunglasses. Being a large oversized frame, we expect them to be a little bit heavier than traditional ones. Comes in about 40 grams. And if we look at just the lens, you can see how much that'll weigh. So the road lens comes in about 18. So half the weight of the sunglasses is just the lens. But again, really light. You're not going to feel these on your face. Now let's go over the fit and finish of the Pock Devour sunglasses. Whether or not you're a fan of the oversized lens design, it's hard to deny that they're very distinctive and provide a really wide field of view. The front profile in particular is where the money shot is. It's a very sleek design that matches and echoes Pock's Swedish design language. As a lot of Pock products, these sunglasses are available in quite a few unique color combinations. We have here today is the hydrogen white. So it's an all white design all the way from the temple arms to the nose piece. And that's really distinct to Pock. They typically color even the rubber, which a lot of companies would just leave black. It's also available in quite a few colors. You can get basalt blue lead blue, uranium black, and others, and those actually match Pock helmets and Pock apparel, so you can actually mix and match for a really distinctive kit. So again, the front, very smooth curves, and it actually conceals the frame, and that's what Pock does really well. So you get a really sleek appearance that actually hides all the structure of the sunglasses. The only thing you really see is this little top brow part, and as well as the four tabs that hold the lens in place. Now it is an interchangeable lens design. You simply push down on the lens while you pull up on these little tabs and that'll pop the top tab off. Same thing on the other side. And then you simply slide up on the lens. And you can see with the lens out of the way, you have this grillamide frame. So very lightweight and flexible. You can see it has nice structure to it. There is no nose bridge, so it doesn't uh, interfere with your field of view. Very simple design with the adjustable uh, pad on the nose. So it's the rubber. So you just push it to the form you want and put it on. The temple arms are adjustable in length and flexible as well. And you can see they actually bend downward to go behind your ear. 
These have a couple of indexed positions, so you can go all the way in for very narrow. You can pop one out for a medium length or all the way out for the full length to match your face. Putting the lens back on is really simple. You just have to slide it in the grooves and behind the bottom tabs. And then you simply pop this in up and under the top tabs. And that's about it. So really simple to swap in and out. And again, with Pox really distinctive design, it hides the frame. So it's a very sleek look. Minimal branding on these sunglasses as well. Just have Pock on the temple arm and then Pock actually written on the lens, but it's out of your sight. So you don't actually see this when you're riding. It's also ventilated. You can see the vents on top and these actually match where these little indentations in the frame are, which help funnel air down to prevent these big sunglasses from getting fogged up when you're riding. Now what's more important than the style of a pair of sunglasses are the lenses. Lenses come in a variety of different options from categories, which dictates how much light they filter through. So a filter category zero would be a clear lens that allows 100% of light through, all the way up to category four, which would be a very dark lens. Generally, you wanna ride with category two or three, which allows you to ride in bright conditions or mixed conditions. But obviously you wanna match it to your environment. Now, Pock offers a variety of lenses with the Devours, and they all feature the Clarity lens technology. It's a really high-tech lens design that's actually produced in collaboration with Carl Zeus. So very uh, nice optics, no distortion, and great color contrast. What I have here today is the Pock Clarity Trail, as well as the Pock Clarity Road. And what you can see the difference is that the road has a violent tint, so you can see the violet color here. It's more designed to match the grays that you would see with concrete or road conditions, while the trail version is more brown. So it has a brown base tint, and as you can see here, it's a lot browner, and that's designed for trail conditions, so when you're on dirt, and that'll improve your color contrast and depth perception. So you really wanna pick the one that matches your conditions and then matches the brightness with the filter categories. Now let's take a look at the Devour sunglasses on the road. Here we have them paired with the ventral light helmet and you can see the hydrogen white actually matches perfectly with the hydrogen white accents of the helmet. Even though the sunglasses are really large, they also fit well. They match up with the bottom brim of the helmet and provide a lot of coverage from the sun or elements. You also won't get any sunburn with these as they extend so far to the right and bottom as you would with more uh, traditional sunglasses. Optics wise, we're really impressed. They have clear distortion-free design, and with the concealed frame, they're very sleek looking, even though they're a little bit goofy and just the sheer size. What we have here is a selection of different sunglasses to compare the Pock Devour with. Starting from the left, we have the Bole Bolt. The more traditional pair of sunglasses kind of refreshed with Bole's new lens technology. You can see it's quite a bit smaller, and this is what most sunglasses used to be before they went all oversized. Semi-frameless design, wrap around with high curvature that's similar to the Pock Devour, but significantly smaller. You can see when you put them side by side, it's about half the size. And even in terms of width, the Pock Devour really goes wide. So if you want a really wide field of view, uh, Devour is a great option, although it does look a little bit goofy off the bike. There's also other sunglasses such as the Smith. This is the Shift Mag. What's cool about these, this is a clear lens is that they have a similar oversized style, but a lot more refrained. So again, the pocket is just really huge. You can see it extends a bit above, a bit wider. And if you compare the curvature, uh, the Smith has a little bit less curvature as well. What's unique about this Smith is that it has a magnetic lens change design, and you don't actually have to get fingerprints on your lens. You can simply click the tabs on the sides, and the whole lens comes with the top. Uh, the top of the frame as well, so you don't have to deal with these little tabs. It's a nice feature that would be great to see on the POC, but obviously adds a little more complication. To put them back on, you simply press the tabs again, and then drop into place. There's also a lot more affordable sunglasses. Obviously POC, you're paying quite a premium for the POC brand and the Swedish design language. Blitz is a great brand for about $100. You get two lenses, oversized style, you get sleek colors as well with customization options with the jawbone. But again, putting them side by side, Devour is just huge. It'll, it's bigger than any sunglasses we've ever reviewed. 
and the Bliss doesn't have the styling that really matches the Pac. So where the Pac has this nice hydrogen white, uh, the Bliss has more generic white, red, blue colors. And again, sizing wise, just really large and a lot more sleek with the concealed frame where this one's actually, the full frame is fully visible. Bully also has some other more aggressive sunglasses. This is the Light Shifter. Again, the Light Shifter a lot smaller, looks better on or off the bike, while the Pac Devour look best with a cycling helmet on. A lot smaller again and less aggressive styling. What's nice about Pac is it's very smooth and subtle. So where this has these hard edges and these little indentations, the Pac has very smooth curves all the way around with a very thin uh, concealed frame. We've also reviewed the Pac Aim before, and similar style in here, same idea. You have a concealed frame uh, with the Pac Aim. You actually have the nose bridge, which I'm actually happy to see not included with the Devour, but it is a semi-frameless design, so you don't see the bottom. With the Devour, you do sort of see the edges, especially at the edge of your peripheral vision, but definitely a lot larger than the Pac Aim. You can see putting them side by side again, the Devour is just massive, it's taller, wider with more ventilation. And finally, the biggest sunglasses we previously reviewed were the Bole Chrono Shields. These are actually inspired by goggles and they've been brought back as a cycling pair of sunglasses. So you put them side by side, much more fair comparison, They're actually nearly the same, with the Devour being slightly larger due to the oversized and overlapping frame. With the Bole, the uh, frame itself is exposed at the edge. With the uh, Pock, it's the lens that extends. But very similar, you have a full frame design with both, with the Pock just being a little sleeker. The Bole Chrono Shield looks a little more like a goggle, while the uh, Pock Devour has a frameless appearance. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the Pock Devour sunglasses. What we like about them is the unique styling. It has that crisp, modern Swedish design language that Pock is known for, with nice smooth curves and the concealed frame. You also have crisp and clear optics from the Clarity lenses with Pac offering a variety of different lenses and color options. As with a lot of Pac products, you get some very distinct colors such as basalt blue, uranium black, and hydrogen white that we showed in this review. Some of the cons for this is that you do pay a premium with the higher prices of Pac items, but you can be rest assured that they hold their resale value. The other con is that it has a full frame behind that concealed frame. And that can limit some of your peripheral vision, even though the lens is so large. For the most part, it is very immersive, just due to the size of the lens though. And also it does not come with a hard case, only a soft fabric case and the cardboard box that is chipped in. Taking everything into account, would give the sunglass a 9.1 out of 10. These really are the ultimate oversized sunglasses and whether or not you like the styling, they are quite distinct. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.